I'm Ian Anderson, editor at Wine Films. Today we're going to be meeting Martin Meinert from Meinert Wines in this beautiful pocket of heaven in the Devon Valley, just outside the town of Stellenbosch. And finally today we've caught up with our first load of Pinotage of the South African Harvest Report. And Martin is going to talk to us about working with South Africa's own variety. This is a, a tiny little kind of part of the valley and we concentrate on um, red varieties only, specifically Cab, Merlot, Pinotage, Cab Franc. And today we're picking Pinotage, but ironically, not from our own vineyards. It's the first time, in fact, that we're having to buy in grapes. But what we do with it is make it in quite a soft style, try and emphasize the, the color, the fruit, uh, minimize the tannins. It's a, it's a very tricky variety as far as tannin and bitterness and that kind of thing. Minimize that, that really funky, earthy, forest floor sort of character that Pinotage sometimes can give. What we do is we do a cold maceration. We, we, what we, at the start now when we pick it, we take it through the mash cooler and chill it down. And then in the tank we cool it down even further so that for the first three, four, five days nothing happens in that tank at all. It's just lying there very, very cold. And the beauty of it is, is that uh, color, anthocyanins, which gives us color, and the fruit, the um, aromas, the, the flavors, are extracted, they're water soluble, they're extracted in water. Tannin is, is much more uh, alcohol soluble, so once alcohol picks up, gets up to about 8% alcohol, then tannins extract much more uh, favorably. And what we think we're doing by that is, is, as I say, kind of getting fruit flavor, color, but minimizing the amount of tannins. And um, that seems to work pretty well with Pinotage. 